I'm going to show you how to set up a free Eclat online store in 7 easy steps so you can start selling products online. I'm Aggie Aviso, e-commerce software specialist at Fit Small Business. Let's get started. The first step to setting up an Equid store is to create an account. Equid actually gives you a free plan to start with. Under it, you can list up to 10 unique physical products, link your store to an existing website, and get access to shipping calculators. Enough for you to launch your store. As you go through the process, you can decide whether upgrading to a paid plan is something that your business needs. To create an account, you just need your name, email address, and store name. Click on Next Set Up Your Store button here. After entering your name and email address, Equid takes you to a registration wizard like this. Don't worry, Equid allows you to go back and change any of your answers at any time. Every store must have a unique name, so enter your store name along with your country and currency. This is an important step because this address will be used for verification if needed and payment processing setup. If you don't have a company address yet, you can enter one from where you will be shipping your orders. Your answers to these questions will be used to assist you with a store setup in later, later stages. Now, before you finish setting up your store, Equid will ask you if you have an existing website. If yes, you can select your platform from the drop down. You don't have to integrate right now, don't worry. Now, if you say no, for example, and if you don't have an existing website, you can get a standalone website hosted by Equid. You just need to choose a web address for your store, similar to this. Keep in mind that you can use your own domain name later. Click the Finish and Proceed button to get to the Equid dashboard. Here is your Equid dashboard. Your dashboard has a to-do list on how to set up your store. On the left is your control panel where you set up your products and back office settings. If it's the first time you're setting up an Equid store, you will have a to-do list and it gets ticked off every time you complete a step. Before setting up your product catalog and payment methods, we need to configure your regional settings. To configure your store's regional settings, you go to your control panel on the left. Under the configuration heading, click on Settings, General, and then Regional Settings. We actually recommend you set this up now so you don't have to do it each time you add a new product. Once you're done with your initial store setup, it's time to add products and services to your store. To add products under your control panel, click on Catalog, Click on products and click on the add new product blue button. Now I'm going to take you through a test product that I have already set up so that you can have a visual on how the product will look like when all the information is filled in. Now inside the product page, you will have seven to eight tabs there on top. I will be just discussing the ones that are available under a free plan. So under the general tab, you can upload images now for your image, the first one here will be the thumbnail in your online store. And you can easily drag to sort these depending on your preferences. Your product name will be the ones your customers will see. If you're using a SKU, enter it here. Now, if this is a physical product, the weight is, is required because you will be shipping it. Now enter a pricing, fill in your product description, and then if you already have categories in mind or if you will be having categories, enter it here. I'll show you how to add categories later. Now, as you can see, all the ones that you see here that have yellow stars are actually features that get activated when you upgrade to a paid plan. Okay. Now, under the options, you can set up variations for your product for example if you're offering a product that comes in multiple colors or are in different sizes you can do so here you just click on add new option and then for example enter a color that's your option and then choose how they will look like inside your product page now enter a value these are your variants and then you can actually specify a different price 
if needed. Once done, just click on save. Now to set up categories, you go to your control panel again, go through the catalog, click on categories, and then click on the add root category button. Each category needs to have a name. Let me just show you here. It needs to have a name, a category image like this, and a description. The same product can belong to multiple categories at the same time. Now, you can set up subcategories under a root category. After saving your root category, you can click on Add Subcategory here on top, and the same fields will need to be populated. This is how it looks like when it's set up. So we have yarn as the root category and cotton wool as the subcategory. After setting up your products and categories, the next step would be setting up payment methods for your store. iCred supports a variety of payment solutions that enable you to accept credit cards and offer alternative payment options for your customers depending on where your store is operating. For example, you can promise payments through PayPal, Stripe, 120 plus third-party payment systems, and even process mobile wallets such as Apple Pay and Google Pay. Manual payment methods are also offered such as cash and delivery, bank transfers, invoices, purchase orders, and checks. To set how you want to get paid by your customers, you just go to your control panel again, navigate under configuration, and click on payment. Once you click on payment, you just choose your preferred option and follow the instructions. After setting up your payment methods, the next step would be configuring your shipping, delivery, and pickup options. Equid actually provides real-time shipping rates from UPS, USPS, and FedEx. To set this up, go again to your control panel under configuration, click on shipping and pickup. Just choose which shipping method you will be going with and just follow the prompts. For example, in our trial store, we set up USPS and it gave us this following options. For example, we can set up conditions for free shipping, custom rates, conditional free shipping, and even set up a flat rate shipping fee or even custom rates. Now that you have set up your products at back office setting, it's time to customize how you want your store to look. So this step is all about customizing your store design. There are two ways to do this. You can set up how your store looks when it's embedded to an existing site or configure your Equid standalone website. To set up how your store will look when embedded to an existing website, go to your control panel, click on design under the configuration heading. This is how you will be able to customize how your store will look when embedded to an existing site. Now, if you don't have an existing site, skip this step and go to the Equid standalone website step, okay? Now, for this one, you can customize the appearance of your online store with Equid based on image size. What's good about this particular configuration is that whenever you change an option, the image on the right will show you how it will look like. So you can actually configure the image size, how the image will look like. For example, if you want a landscape orientation or a portrait orientation of your image, you can do that. And then your product card details. For example, if you want all the product information to be aligned at the center, you can do that or just make it go to the right. Now, what's actually good about this is you can choose which types of information will be shown in your product cards. For example, if you want to show your product name, if you want to show the product's um, price, even if you want to have a buy now button available right away, you can do that as well. The category name position, if you have categories, you can also customize it here. And the product page layout. So if you want like three columns, for example, or two columns with different specifications for each product information, you can do that. 
for the image gallery thumbnails, you can see if you want it horizontal, vertical, or full-sized. Now for the sidebar, you can actually just stick off all the information that you want seen. So here, if you have an existing website, Equid actually can blend seamlessly with your website's colors and displays optimally. To enable this, just scroll down, go to Storefront, Navigation and Colors, under Color Adaptation, click on Enable. And that's it. You have customized how your site will look like when embedded to an existing site. Now, the next step would be connecting your store to your website. To do this, go to your control panel and under Sales Channels, click on Overview. Scroll down to click on the cell on your website heading. Just choose the platform your existing website is on and just follow the steps. If you don't have an existing website, Equid provides a standalone site called Instant Site. To customize this, just go to your control panel and click on Website under the Sales Channels. Now, under Overview, just click on Edit Site. Once you click on the Edit Site button, a pop-up window will appear, and that's your Equid Site Builder. This lets you edit your Instant Site. The first thing you need to do is click on themes so that you will be able to choose the type of site design you want. Equid has over a hundred themes categorized on top. So depending on the industry that you will be selling in, Equid has pre-built website layouts for you to choose from. Once you have chosen a theme, the next step would be customizing your site sections. Your site sections or section blocks, as I call it, can actually be found on the left side of your screen. Now, as you can see, we only have a couple of site sections available, and these are the only ones that you can add or delete from your site. To, to quickly add or show it, you just toggle the button on and off. You can also arrange it based on how you would like it to look like. Don't forget to click on save each time you do a step. Now under the store site block, you can configure how many product thumbnails and product images are displayed. So you can see here, thumbnail size, thumbnail aspect ratio, text alignment, and everything else. As always, don't forget to click on save. For the product pages, just click on product page under appearance options. Now here you have the option to choose the page and image gallery layouts and select which information you want to be displayed on your product sidebar. So here is your product page layout. Once you choose an option, you will be seeing it reflected to the right of your screen. And then here is the sidebar. You can actually drag and drop things if you want them and just uncheck or tick off things you don't want displayed on your product page. Click on save. Once you're done customizing your site, just click out of the pop-up window and then for you to preview or check your site, click on preview site. This is how our test store looks like. You can actually use your instant site as your main selling channel or your online store, a landing page such as a coming soon or website under construction page. So if you are working on your store setup or running a seasonal business, you can actually hide the store block and just use it as a website under construction page or you can use it as an online catalog your instant site can be a place where your products are displayed but not offered for purchase you can just disable checkout for your products and there you have it you are ready to start selling in your equid store if you want to know more about how to start an online store check out our next video until then happy selling and have a great day